moving on now to warm up the core a little bit more. We're going to take our hands behind our heads, keeping our chest nice and wide across the front of the body. So not carving our elbows in, keeping them gently out to the side. I'm going to um, curve my belly button toward my spine as I touch my knee to my elbow. I'm going to curve and then I'm going to lengthen my spine, lengthen my leg, arms come to a high diagonal. Then I'm going to find that curve in the spine again, coming back down. Other side. So I bring my elbow to my knee, curving the spine, keeping the upper body open. Lengthen the leg, lengthen the spine, and then find that elbow to knee again and coming down. And then we'll take that a little bit faster. The second part of this, arms are just going to be, hands are going to be on our hips. I'm going to take a rond de jambe forward to the side. My leg will turn out as I lengthen. Then I'm going to bend the knee, still lengthening the spine. Lengthen the leg a little longer, a little higher, lengthening the spine, and then come back to parallel. Rond de jambe around. Leg is turned out. Spine is nice and long. Bending the leg, lengthening, and then coming back to parallel. As always, your goal when you take that leg off the floor is to keep a nice long spine. So you don't want to let the spine collapse. I know I say that every class. You want to have a nice long spine. So let's take that a couple of times, starting with our elbow to knee. Sitting on the edge of your chair for this one, taking a nice breath in and out. Elbow to knee, here we go. Curve the spine, lengthen, and curve down. Other side, curve, lengthen, curve, down. Let's take that again. stretch here. You can have your hands anywhere you like. And then gently stretching to the other side. Good. And coming up. Nice job. 